Hey everyone, I'm Cosmo and welcome to the continuation of my Scrap Mechanics Survival Adventure. Today I'm going to be taking a break from working on my barge and actually doing something else. As you can see, I am headed somewhere and where I'm headed is to my oil pond. Today I'm going to be building a fully, well, not a fully automated, but an automated gas station so that I can roll up to it fill up my vehicles and just keep going. The whole idea is that it's constantly going to be producing fuel and I can just, you know, roll up, grab some fuel and keep going. It would be really nice if we could use vacuum pumps to fill up, but I'm not sure if that's possible. So, uh, <laughs> we'll do what we can. So here we are. This is my oil pool and let me show you guys, uh, I guess all the materials that I brought with me. So I did do a lot of grinding off camera. I've got five full chests here. As you can see, this guy has some windows. I didn't know how many windows I would need. I want these for the houseboat as well. So if there are any left over, we'll just use them for that. Uh, some lights for lamp posts here. What do we have? Got some random blocks here that I'm gonna be using to build this gas station. Uh, got some other things, controllers, which are actually gonna be used for aesthetic purposes, not for anything, uh, you know, not for anything mechanical. Uh, got some lights, which, you know, warehouses. I drove around trying to not get killed by tape bots. That was fun. A uh, bunch of random stuff here. I brought a bunch of materials, probably way more than I actually need. But I am kind of far from my base. I don't have all my resources here. So I'm just avoiding, you know, going back and forth all the time. <laughs> I got some food here. Nope, that's that's crates. <laughs> I got some food in here, some other stuff. So you know what? Let's uh, let's get right to it. The whole idea is to cover this thing, build a gas station over top of it, and have this be like the drive through where you roll up, grab your gas, and go. <laughs> so yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it, guys. I'm going to get building. I'm going to start by building a concrete pad first. Actually, we'll get these guys out of here. Although, you know what? I am curious to see if we can spit gas out of a chest. So I'm going to quickly try that. I know it probably won't work, but just for the sake of the video, I'm going to quickly try that. Also, I put my ramps and my tailgate on one button. So much better. So much better. <laughs> Well, we definitely can't pump it out of, uh, of a fuel container, and I'm pretty sure we can't pump it out of a chest either. And we can't pump it out of a regular chest either, so that's okay. I was hoping we could, like, pump it out, suck it back up with the truck, you know, have a fully automated refueling system. But obviously this doesn't work. Maybe it will one day, but uh, for now we'll just have to grab the gas manually. That's okay. Is it already getting dark out? Okay, it's only 9 a.m. I just have PTSD as far as daytime and nighttime goes in this game. I always think it's getting dark. <laughs> Alrighty, so we'll grab this stuff, put it all away for now, and uh, get building our platform. Gotta get rid of this thing here. Oh no, that's a button. I need oh great, I'm swimming around in oil. That oh no. I really don't understand why you're not like dying when you're in there. It should be probably just as toxic as chemicals. Or maybe a little less toxic, a little less damage. But still. Alright button, where you at? Good thing they float. Okay, perfect. So, now I am going to build a concrete pad. I think I'm going to time-lapse a lot of this. It's just going to be, you know, a lot of building, but you guys will get the idea. Now, unfortunately, it's very hard to make a concrete pad here that's not covered up or not overlapping the terrain. Well, simply because the terrain is just not even, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll make do. Well guys, I screwed up. I need more concrete. <laughs> I'll be back. I did make a bunch more concrete. I just left it there thinking I'm not gonna need it. Boy, was I wrong. Okay, I'll be back. Alrighty guys, rolling back into the gas station area here. Man, I gotta clear out that forest. I really don't want to be chopping more trees, but I really gotta clear out that forest. And I think it's actually getting dark now. Great. Great. Awesome. <laughs> well, let's at least finish the concrete pad before we, uh hit darkness here and uh, we should be good for the next day.
Alrighty guys, there we go. The oil pond is fully filled up, which is good. Um, and by filled up, I mean covered up with, uh, with concrete. So now I can start building my structure on here. This is basically going to be like, imagine this is a road and you know, you're, uh, you're driving into it. There's going to be a little, little booth here. I don't know. I don't know. You'll see. You'll see. I got it all in my head. It's a little hard to explain, but I think it's going to work out really well. So I'm going to wait till daytime here and we'll get right to it. Alrighty guys, it's morning again. Unfortunately, I am going to be cutting into my build time a little bit because I realized I need more caution block. I am going to need some more paint eventually because I would like to paint this place up and I need another fuel tank. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of uh, collecting flowers, collecting circuit boards. This guy did not drop one. Oh well. And uh, yeah, and then I'll I'll get headed back to, to the gas station. Let me just find one more toad bot. I know you're around here somewhere, buddy. I know you are. I saw you. I saw your light. Well, it's not a toad bot, but maybe you'll drop one. I need one more circuit. One more circuit. That's all I need. Really? Oh, maybe this one will. Oh, there's uh, there's a toad bot there. There's two toad bots. Sweet. Yeah, it's weird. I have like a lot of resources for building, but I don't really have a lot of resources for like... Oh jeez, oh jeez, what's going on? <laughs> for uh, building like intricate stuff, you know? So... There we go. Like, I'm somehow out of circuit boards. I don't know how, but somehow out of circuit boards. Okay, hop back in the truck and let's get going to, uh, to the base to quickly build some of this stuff and then head back. Man, I really wish my oil pond was closer. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are. Let's drop some... What are you still making? Are you still making concrete? Jeez. Okay, oh, right, because I was gone. Right. I forget that nothing works when you're not in the tile. <laughs> okay, so now I'm pretty sure I can build one of these. Excellent. I want to make a bunch of paint. Excellent. And I want to make some caution block. Of course I need paint for caution block. <laughs> well, that's alright. We're making some paint here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Last couple of paints. Come on. I got stuff to do. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Alright, let's get back. Do we have enough fuel? Eight fuel. Probably not. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out later. Actually, now that I think about it, guys, I do have the pimple truck still, so... I think I'm just gonna start building through the night. I think the pimple truck can illuminate the world pretty well, because... Honestly, the what like the 10 minutes, 8 minutes of nighttime is just way too long. I just want to get to building stuff, you know? I just want to do stuff. But nighttime doesn't really look good on camera, on uh, on the recording. Gotta figure something out. Either lots of light or skip night. And skipping night is a waste of time, so lots of light it is. Oh, bo 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 boy. What time is it? Yeah, it's already noon. It's already noon. I literally have 6 minutes of build time left. I don't even know if I can pull that off. Well, I can definitely build something, I just don't know if I can build anything substantial. Should I do this? Yeah, I'll do it. Yeet. Good stuff. Look at our fancy concrete pad. Excellent, excellent. How much fuel do we have left? Five fuel, not bad, not bad. Takes about three to four fuel to get here, pretty good. Okay, so here's the kicker. I am going to attach a pump to this. It's going to come out this side, and it's all going to be underneath, right? It's all going to be wired underneath, and then I'm going to go here, here, here. I'm going to have one pump here, and I'm going to have a second pump here. Obviously, for that, I need uh, two, like a split. I need a split in the whole fork of my vacuum tubes, but I'm pretty sure chests can do that for me. So, let's get to it, guys. Keep saying that. I keep saying that, but let's actually get to it. So, I'm going to do this. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's... Hmm, should I use a chest here? I don't know. I don't know. Yes, I definitely need a chest here. I think I need more chests. I might need more chests. I guess we'll we'll find out. So, I gotta dump all this stuff from this, this chest because I need to use this chest for my oil. Let's throw this guy down. Perfect. Now, can we fit something here like this? Yeah, this will be fine. Now we can remove some of this. Ooh, is that gonna pump? No, it probably needs to be a little lower. Probably should go get more tubes. Oh, oh no. Oh no. I'm stuck here now. Rip. Help. Okay, we're good. Nope, we're not good. <laughs> Come on. I'm all slippery in oil. Jeez. <laughs> oh, uh, there you go. Made a nice concrete pad and already making holes in it. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably only need one oil pickup here. Yeah, because you know what? Once it's filled up, once there's enough of a queue, I don't think I'm going to have trouble pumping this stuff. So I think I'm just going to do one. 
I think I'm just going to do one and I'm going to do it right underneath. Alrighty guys, here you go, just in time for night time. <laughs> I've got this thing pumping oil now, this is going to be kind of like the back room, you're not really going to see this part uh, when you walk into the gas station, but as you can see, it's happily pumping oil finally. Oh, are we gonna, we're gonna need to upgrade this guy, oh geez, good thing I brought some component kits. I think I did at least. Yeah, there's one, there's ten. So I've got more component kits back at the shop there, but you know, for now we can just do this. Cool. Two more. Well, three more, I think. We'll see. Two more. Two more. Okay, so now that it's nighttime, I'm going to pull my truck a little bit closer and uh, use the pimple power to basically build at night so we can actually see. Because I really do want to keep building, guys. It's, uh, you know, nighttime is a huge waste of time. So we're just going to park this up here. This isn't helping a whole lot. <laughs> we need the truck even closer, I think. Actually, we have all those other lights. The ones that I brought for the gas station. Let's put those up. Because this truck is, is in the way already. It, it's already in the way. I'm already not happy. Let's move this guy out of the way a bit. And then we'll just throw up some warehouse lights. Let's do that. Better? Wow, much better. <laughs> Let's throw another one up here. Awesome. Awesome. So much better, guys. Look at this. We can actually build now. Love it. Love it. Okay, so now I have to make a split section that will basically allow me to feed the two different pumps. And hopefully I can do that with the space that I have. So let's get another chest. I need another chest for an intermediate position. I'm gonna start running out of chests here, guys. I just gotta start placing stuff down, I guess. Jeez, this is gonna suck. Alrighty guys, check it out. So now I have uh, basically a chest underneath here. Let's take that out. See, I've got a chest underneath there and I've got two outputs. So now if I set this guy to just, you know, make some, make some fuel here, it should constantly be making fuel into this chest. Hey, okay, there's our first batch of fuel. And uh, you know, we're still pumping here, so that's good. This is very, very good. Now we just need to hook it all up. <laughs> we basically need to take uh, one of these tubes and hook it up to somewhere here. And the other tube is going to go to somewhere here. So I do need more long tubes, unfortunately. I didn't realize that, but I do need a whole lot more of these guys. That's okay, I only got two right now. That's not okay. <laughs> but I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna build more of these in a little bit. But for now, I think I'm going to... Uh, you know, decide the location of the pumps. So let's do that. Hey, we got daylight again. Woohoo! <laughs>
Alrighty guys, here we go. So this is going to be the location of the two pumps here. Uh, you know, you're gonna roll up, you're gonna be able to fill up on one and call it a day. I know it's a bit of, uh, you know, there's a bit of role playing going on here. Don't need this whole fancy gas station to, you know, get fuel. I can literally walk up to this chest and... Ooh, interesting. Why is... Huh. Why is oil being pumped in? That's very interesting. I don't want it to do that. We almost need to like fill this whole chest up with oil. Sorry, with uh, here, we'll stop pumping and then we'll fill this whole chest up with gas and that way we'll have a buffer of gas and you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully we don't get all this oil <laughs> building up in there. I think that's what we gotta do. We just have to fill it all up with gas, but then hopefully it doesn't get passed into these ones. I wonder if you could put oil into these. No, you can't. Okay, perfect. Good. So that'll never get in there. Good, 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 good. So let me show you the underneath. As you guys can see, here are my two hookups. And we just need a bunch more tubes now. Like a lot more tubes. <laughs> I'm gonna get on that, I guess, because I gotta start hooking these things up. I have everything I need on me, I think. So I'm just gonna head back and I'm gonna build a bunch more, bunch more tubes. Oh no. Circuit boards? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I don't have circuit boards, man. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> well, guys, I gotta go grind for a bit. That's okay. It's not okay, but it's okay. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, I guess, uh, oh, cool. I got two there. Yay. <laughs> Grab some pain flowers, whatever. Um, okay. Well, I guess that's, that's that. I gotta go grind for some, uh, circuit boards make fuel at home while i'm at it why not you know whatever but uh yeah i guess it's time uh <laughs> i guess it's time to go get some circuit boards guys i'll see you in a little bit i'm gonna take my monorail i haven't taken my monorail in a while love this thing oh boy Whee! nice look at that i love that <laughs> you travel so fast from island to island well from that mainland to this island. Oh, right, and no spuds either, man. Really? Whatever. Let's just get it done. Grind, time lapse, go. Actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna time lapse this. This video is about building stuff, not grinding stuff. So, you know what? I'm gonna spare you guys, and I'm just gonna do this on my own, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. That was ridiculous. <laughs> I really should just get some spuds. You know what? That's a good way to get circuits too. Farm a bunch of spuds. I think I'll do that. Just when I need circuits, I'm getting a ton of component kits. Ooh, golden chest. Nice. And back we go. Good old nighttime. Gotta grab some spuds. Oh, wow. I have spuds. <laughs> I don't even need to grow spuds. I have spuds. Man, I'm all over the place. You know what? Let's grow some spuds anyway, because then we'll get a raid. And I want a raid right now. Man, did I actually... Oh, man, I planned it right at midnight. That sucks. <laughs> oh, well. Well, guys, it's daytime again. I'm growing some spuds for the sake of just getting a raid so I can get more circuits, but I am going to go and loot for more circuits because, well, it's just, you know, it's taking way too long. So I'm going to go do that. I'll recoup with you guys when I have all my circuits and hopefully, you know, have built more of these guys. I think I just built three more. So there you go. Let's do that, and hopefully we can get back to building our gas station. Man, it always sucks when you have, like, unprecedented uh, stuff like that. You know, like, I thought I was all good to go for materials. I was not. <laughs> That's okay.
Oh, I think my raid's gonna happen now. Yep, my raid's happening. I need some spuds, though. I need some spuds. <laughs> oh, man, I totally forgot about the raid. That's okay. Oh, inventory full. Dump something. Dump something. Go. Go. <laughs> They're not breaking anything anyway. It's fine. Woo. Oh, no. We'll just get this guy the old-fashioned way. We'll just get this guy the old-fashioned way. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. One, two, sweet. Couple more. Pick all this stuff up. Man, I really gotta... I really need more inventory room. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? How'd you get here? I don't like that. Eh, I'll just clean this up later. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. It is morning time. Oh, boy. It's lag time, apparently. It is morning time. Uh, very shortly here. And I... Killed a bunch of toad bots, I looted some buildings, I also got some flowers, um, but I got 27 circuits, which is pretty good. Pretty good, that means that we can actually build some stuff now. So let's dump it all in here, and build some more tubes. Let's see, what do I need? So I need six of these guys, I'm pretty sure, and then the rest can be straight, so what do I have? I have two? Do I have two only? Yep, I got two, did we make any in here? Nope, okay, so I need four more of those. One, two, three, four, and then we'll just set this guy to auto-craft as many as it can. Hopefully that's enough, guys. Hopefully that's enough. I don't know. We'll see. It'll definitely get us very close. Also got a bunch of component kits, so we can actually upgrade the craft bot to max level over there. That's gonna be nice. Very good. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Now we're just building the long boys. Excellent. I gotta drop them off. I need more chests so bad. I feel like all this lag is being caused by all these lights. <laughs> okay, I think I, I think I built enough tubes, guys. Oh my goodness. I really hope I didn't need more curvy ones. <laughs> Unauthorized farming, right. Forgot about that. I've got a whole harvest going on. Whoops. Well, whatever's lagging, please stop. Let's get in the truck and let's go harvest our farm. Alrighty, well, we're full up already. That's good. This is such a mess. I'm gonna have to clean this all up later. <laughs> just zero desire to do it right now because I just want to finish my gas station, guys. I'm so excited for that thing. Perfect. Okay, let's get all my stuff back. No more unauthorized farming, and I have a ton of spuds now. Hopefully, I don't forget that and grow more. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. I'll get that stuff later, too. All the stuff that needs to be refined, I'll just get that later. Let's go and keep building. I'm excited. Finally back. Oh, man. That was so bad on my part. I, I really should have known I would need a ton of these uh, ton of these vacuum pieces, but, you know, I guess I slept on that. How are we doing here? Okay, I guess you're just starting to make more again. That, that makes perfect sense. Let's upgrade this guy. Boom. Oh, it's fully upgraded already. Excellent. Oh, no, I need five more. Five more component kits. I think I got that here. Wait, no, I don't. Oh, man, I'm missing two component kits. All right, come at me, hey bots. <laughs> come at me. Okay, well, you know what? Doesn't matter because we are going to be doing the plumbing first. So let's go down here and see what we get up to. There you go. And then we'll do another curvy piece here. I'm going to time lapse this whole thing, guys. I'll meet up with you when all the vacuuming is done. Or I guess rather the ducting, the piping, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is this is ridiculous. You grind for so long and then it takes like two seconds to place all the parts and I literally only had like half of what I needed. So <laughs> So this time I'm actually going to spare you guys and I'm just gonna go I'm gonna grind for more circuits I'll be back. We'll get this done. I promise the next next scene will be me putting on new pipes I promise Alrighty guys, it's been a while for me 
for me. <laughs> Actually, I didn't uh, didn't live up to my promise. I told you guys the next scene would be me placing more vacuum tubes, and here I am not doing that. But I have good news. So I actually. I ground for some circuit boards and I organized my inventory a little bit because I was getting really annoyed by it. So it's a little more organized now, you know, it's getting there, it's getting there, but I have more of the tubes or vacuum pipes and I think I have enough guys. I made extra. I made extra because I can always use them for other stuff. Pretty sure I got like 50 circuit boards, so I was like, you know what, let's just build a bunch of stuff, build some extra chests, you know, life is good. I also started deep pimpling my truck. It's a little more deep pimpled, but you know, there's still some deep pimpling left to do. Actually, I'm gonna finish that up now. I'm just dumping them all in here. I'm gonna finish that up now because I really don't want this thing to lag out any more than it already does. Be right back. Holy moly, I stole a lot of these lights. Filling up a second chest already. And now we're just dumping them in random inventory again. There we go, guys. The truck has officially finished its Accutane treatment, and we're good to go. Let's get back to the gas station. Are we rolling, rolling, rolling? Are we rolling, 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 rolling? Now I know you all be loving this sh We're back. We're back. And hopefully we don't have to leave for like an hour and a half again, because there's more grinding to be done. I really hope there's no more grinding left to be done. Okay, let's unload some of this stuff and start placing it. So excited. So excited. Excited? I don't know what excited is, but I'm excited. I swear, if this is not enough vacuum tubing, somebody gonna die. What do you mean you saw me leaving to get more vacuum tubes? I did no such thing. <laughs> oh man, I did have to go and make three more vacuum tubes. It's all right, it's all good. I am almost done guys, and this guy is already pumping. This guy's already pumping. I gotta tell you though, a lot easier to grind for materials when you've got two people. It's uh, certainly a lot easier, let's put it that way. <laughs> oh man, I'm almost done though, this is gonna be awesome. And by almost done, I mean, you know, almost done the pumping portion of it. I have yet to do the, you know, the part where I build the whole gas station. That's okay. That's okay. That'll be the easy part. And there you have it, guys. The second one is also hooked up. Let's go check it all out. Man, swimming in oil cannot be healthy. It just, I, I, I don't see how this is healthy. <laughs> Boom. This guy's filling up. Slowly but surely, he's filling up. And so is this one. Awesome. And now, if we take some out of here, well, it should start filling up again, hopefully. <laughs> this guy should be full, perfect, so we can actually, uh, can actually probably start pumping again, because if this guy's full, that means that it's not gonna fill up with oil. And these guys don't fill up with oil, so that's not gonna be an issue. This guy's a 10, what's this guy? Oh, see, we got another 10 in there, perfect. Now, I almost wonder if, uh, oof, oof, something's on fire. <laughs> I almost wonder if this is going to be fast enough, but you know what? We can always sneak back here, open up a little hatch here. I'll probably make a little hatch and, uh, you know, just snag some fuel out of here. But you got to stop pumping first in order to do that. Otherwise, you're going to fill up an oil. Okay, cool. Well, while this is filling up, I'm just going to do that. Perfect. That's at 20 already. Cool. Guys, this is awesome. This is cool. Now we can finally start building the actual gas station. I think I am going to wait until daytime for that, so that, you know, we can build in the light. So I'll see you guys then. Man, I go back to the base overnight. I'm like, you know what? I got time to make stuff. And I'm sitting here making like 40 of these wedges. Honestly, one of my biggest pet peeves in the game. Why? Why can't I make those draggable? Also, where's my truck? 
<laughs> Why can't I make those draggable? You know, it's just they fill up so much inventory space and it's it's ridiculous. It's just nutty. I don't understand. Now I have to fill up a whole chest full of this stuff. Alrighty, off we go. Rolling back up here. Oh, 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 don't flip, don't flip. Excellent. Cool. You know, we can stop. Get out of the truck. Oh, does my truck need fuel? No problem. Let's get her filled up, bud. Perfect. And now we're filling back up here. <laughs> I love it. I love it, guys. Okay, so I got a bunch of these wedge pieces. I'm gonna start building, start doing all the aesthetics. And uh, yeah, cue time lapse. Let's get this done.
Alrighty guys, it's daytime and I guess it's a pretty good time to do a bit of an update. I think it's coming along really, really well. I'm really excited about this. It's uh, definitely a little bit of work, but that's okay because it's just, it's turning out awesome. I do need more wood. I do think I have more wood back at base, uh, but I also need more paint. I am uh, fresh out of paint and I do have to go and gather some flowers. So I am going to do that because I, I just really want to get this painted up and finished up. Um, at least the exterior. I don't know if I'm going to do the interior today. Also, I know this is very narrow. I don't... I, it's just... Whatever. Let's just pretend this is a dining area. It's like a diner and we'll pretend this is a dining area. Okay? It's very crammed, but that's okay. I was gonna put a bathroom here, but then I was like, no, I like having the windows. Nobody's gonna be eating here anyway, so we're just gonna pretend that that's a dining area. Perfect. <laughs> okay, uh, gonna go get more wood, gonna go get more flowers, and I'll be back. Let's see if we got wood. Heck yes. Oh baby, all the wood, give it to me. Well, I think that's probably enough wood. Um, now, time to go collect some flowers for half an hour. <laughs> Alrighty guys, here we are, rolling on up. Perfect. Okay, so, wait, why is this red? Is this just reflecting off that? Probably. Very odd. So, got a bunch of paint, got a bunch of wood. Let's get back to it. Actually, you know what? Let's paint the, let's paint the top roof first. Oh, <laughs> 
Alrighty guys, I've been at it. It's looking fantastic in my opinion. There's not a whole lot left to do, at least in this episode. I want to put some doors up, obviously. I think I want to do automatic doors. I know I'm kind of theming this thing very, uh, like, retro style. <laughs> I just, I don't know, I just really like the retro look of things. But I really want to make it, uh, like, motion sensor activated. Really just put a sensor here. And, uh, you know, when I walk up, it senses it and the doors open. I don't know if I want to do sliding doors because that kind of complicates things even more. Um, although sliding doors would be really cool. I could maybe... Hmm, I gotta think about this. You know what? Let's do sliding doors. I think that would be fun. I do have to go get some pistons. I have to go get some other stuff like a sensor. But we're getting there, guys. We are getting there. Also, I'm not sure what's up with this lighting. It's not very good. I thought it'd be much better than this, but it's not... Not that great, but it's okay. And I put a cone here because technically a small vehicle could pull up, but really this is not a very usable area. Most of the refilling is going to be happening through this side. Oh man, I love this. I love this. Have a little room here. You know, do not enter. That's the, uh, that's the facility here. We have our extra gas here if we ever need to get it. Lovely. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to go get some stuff and I'll be back. We're almost done. This is so cool. And we're back. Oh man, I love the look of this thing. Love it. Okay, so, uh, got a bunch more stuff. Uh, I guess it's time to start building these doors. So basically what I'm doing here guys is I've got two pistons here, they're gonna open these doors to the sides. I have a sensor here and I'm going to have a sensor out here. In fact, we can probably just place that now. So, you know, have a little thing like that. Go, oh, bearing, there we go. And then where's my other sensor? Here we are, so let's slap this guy on. Perfect, okay. And now, uh, hmm, yeah, you know what, I think I need, well, we can try. I don't know if it's gonna, it's probably gonna be glitching into the building. So I'm actually gonna get another piece of tubing really quickly. There we go, one of these guys, that should do. And then we go like this, get rid of that, throw one of these guys on, then we do the curvy piece, then we do our bearing. Man, I really wish it had the, I really wish survival had the creative hotbar where you can have, you know, three hotbars. But that's okay. Um, and then we throw this guy on. Perfect. And now we hook up this to this guy. Max connections. Really? Okay, well, that's fine. We'll just go there. Okay, so now I want this guy to basically be at 45 degree angle. Is that good? Is that good? I don't know. Maybe a little lower? Let's do 60. Excellent. And now, I want this to trigger at when I come close to it. I guess I need to... There we go. Is that better? Oh. Well, that's good. Maybe one more? There we go. Much better. And now, this guy actually needs to hook into a logic gate, which might as well have the logic gate just like hanging out here or something, you know? doing its thing and this one I need to be or perfect wire this into the logic gate okay and then the logic gate goes to the pistons so if I stand here the door is open we that's awesome and now if I go here the door is open we they kind of close pretty quick <laughs> 
Obviously, it would help to have just more of the pistons, but... Sorry, more of the sensors. That's actually okay. That's fine. That'll do. Let's get the glass back on here. Perfect. And I actually meant to grab some of this mesh block and just throw it on here. There you go. Make it a little nicer. Perfect. Now we can close this room up. Awesome. Sweet. <laughs> Okay, I actually also wanted a radio. I wanted a radio here. Not sure if you guys caught it in my time lapse, but I actually uh, put some radios inside the gas pumps here. So, let's get a button for that. Actually, let's get a... Yeah, I gotta put more sensors here. I just gotta get more of them, that's all. Um, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw a couple of switches here. Perfect. We're gonna throw one here. And another one there. And this guy is going to go to all the lights. Ooh, this has a hookup. What? I never knew that you could do that. What? That's so cool. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Okay, and then this one, I'm going to hook up to the radios. And now, if we turn on the lights, we got music too. You can kind of hear them. <laughs> They're inside the pumps. Love it. The gas station is operational. <laughs> so these uh, these controllers, as you guys can see, they're just meant to be like readout dials. You know, like this is, you know, the cost of your gas and the volume that you filled up. But obviously they don't show that data. So they're just controllers for aesthetics. But they're also coming in handy for all my other stuff here. Perfect. Let's paint some other stuff. And I think we'll be good to go. Now, you know what, guys? I want to make this work better. I'm going to quickly go and get a bunch more sensors, and then we'll be done. Alrighty, back to the gas station to put on the final touches. It's actually kind of hilarious because I'm, like, never going to see the gas station. I'll only be there once in a while, just, you know, picking up some gas. But, uh, I put so much work into it, like, four hours of... If not more, actually, at this point. Five hours of real life time. <laughs> um, you know, just to build this gas station. But I'm really happy with it. I hope you guys uh, hope you guys have enjoyed the build. I certainly have. I just can't wait to get it all done. And, uh, well, I still have to furnish the inside. But I'm definitely not going to be doing that in this episode. I think I might do that in, like, a general base decoration episode or something. I don't know. Basically, I just wanted to build a functional part and then, you know, build the aesthetic part or at least the external aesthetic part. So here we are. Oh man, I love this. I, I just love rolling up to it. It feels so good. I think I need a painting. There you go. Look at that. Let's see what it looks like from the outside. Perfect. Perfect. That, that like completes the interior. <laughs> Let's fix this guy up so much better with six of them might not actually need all six might only need like three or four and then i can add the other ones to here but this one seems to work just fine so i don't know i don't know this is great this is awesome now one more thing guys i just i can't can't stop until i do this just gonna borrow these clearly people know which way to go also they're facing the wrong way <laughs> they're useless signs anyway Perfect. That's all I needed. Oh no. Stop it. Stop it. Alrighty guys, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I am finally done. Let's 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 just let's just get a good look at it here. Oh man. It's basically the size of my truck. Like my truck is bigger than the gas station. The scale is a little off, but hey, it's a really big truck, okay? I mean what do you expect? <laughs> These lights aren't on switches. They probably should be. I wonder if I have one. I do, but they're not connected, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm worrying about too much stuff right now. I think this is great, guys. This turned out awesome, in my opinion. I love adding little details like this, like an AC unit. I know the AC unit's not facing the right way. Whatever. You're really never on the roof anyway. Um, but just having the pipe there, I thought was really cool. I don't know why there's a pipe going to the AC on the outside. Once again, 
The less questions, the better. <laughs> um, I do have the beacon here. Ooh, I should, you know what? I am missing a light here. There we go. Perfect. There you go. Now I have a light for this entrance. Everything's good. And yeah, I've got my beacon here. I've got my pumping station, which isn't... Oh, it was pumping. Perfect. So it's pumping. Um, I have my... I'm not going to delete that, but I have my you know, chest in there. Oh, wait. Can I actually access... Oh, that's the craft bot. I thought you could access chest through the mesh, but nope. <laughs> you guys already saw everything that's underneath. I mean, it's just... I love it. I love it. It's... Uh, I'm actually really tired. I don't have a lot of words right now. A lot of good words. I'm just... I'm just stoked on this build. Here, let's turn off the beacon. Awesome. Look at that. I love it. I love it. I think the pumps turned out great too. I really like that. I tried doing like a little uh, gas nozzle as well, like a gas nozzle gun, whatever you want to call it. The inside is pretty cool. I need to, I need to fix that. I need to put a bit of a delay on it, I think, so that it doesn't close right away. I mean, this area is a little tight, but that's okay. It's definitely getting there, guys. It's definitely getting there. I am definitely going to do a little more interior stuff down the line. But, you know, for now, for now, I think this is sufficient. Turn the radios on. Heck yeah. Love that. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Let's see if my truck needs any fuel. I think it does, too. Awesome. There you go. Filled up. Let's watch another one appear. I uh, said, oh, the craft bot has to be running. That's why. That's okay. So here's the kicker. I can have it running all the time simply because I leave the area. And well, not right now because they only picked up one thing of gas. Probably by the time I leave the area, it would have been done all the gas. But uh, it can just keep going. You know, it can just, you just put it on an infinite cycle and it just keeps going. And when you leave the area, it stops. And then when you re-enter the area, it, uh, it starts pumping and creating fuel again. That's awesome. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Not the most functional thing, but I just really wanted to build a gas station and here we are. Oh, it looks so cool just rolling up to it, guys. I love it. It's awesome. <laughs> well, let me know what you guys think about this episode. I really had a fun time building this. I, I had this plan for a while. I just haven't had the time to do it. And now that I have a little more time to do solo videos, I, uh, I figured this would be the first thing to do. The first thing on the to-do list. I love this. This is awesome. <laughs> but uh, definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you did enjoy the video, please click the like button down below. It helps the video be seen by other people. The algorithm does its magic and if you guys aren't subscribed yet subscribe with notifications on so that you can stay up to date with all the future videos And I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know what else you want me to build. Bye